What's the mother from the King deal, man? Welcome back to Sheldon's Bootleg Ass Studio where you come to kick it, vibe out, and shoot the shit with Sheldon. Say, if you ain't subscribed to the channel by now, I'm gonna need you to go ahead, hit the subscribe button, hit that like button, and tap that notifications bell as well. That way, you are amongst those who are notified as soon as I release new content. Also, don't be shy, drop me some in that comment section. That way I can familiarize myself with you and recognize who you are as we are reacting to the videos. And before we get started, let me give a big shout out to one of my subscribers, 818 Valley Resale. 818 Valley Resale, they send me some t-shirts in the mail. You know what I'm saying? They're a um, big supporter of mine. They just hit me up on Instagram, told me they wanted me to have some of the merch. And they sent me some of this. So I'm gonna leave their IG in the description if you need any. Merch from 818 Valley Resale. Please hit them up. 818 Valley Resale. I really do appreciate that, man. Much love. All right, now in this video that we got today, it says Florida woman stabs deputy in the neck for no apparent reason after he responds to a roller, a rollover accident. All right, so without further ado, I'm gonna light up my situation. Why y'all liking that video on your way in? Subscribe to the channel for the newcomers and the returning viewers who aren't subscribed. And we finna jump off up into this content right now. If you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Away. No, no walking. Come over here. Okay. Walk upstairs, all right? Let's get out this water area. She got her hands behind her back. You're scared? Is she trying to get it right, let's walk out of her britches? Water, okay? Don't run. Okay, Slowly she's walk. frantic. <laughs> yeah, she was acting very weird. She pulls out a knife and stabs the deputy in the neck, nicking his carotid artery, <laughs> a major vessel. Usually, mm. uh, people don't do well with that injury. But Deputy Colangelo is being praised for using his training to save his life, applying pressure to his neck while chasing after the suspect and calling for backup. You sitting here running after the suspect and you done got stabbed in the neck. I don't know if I would have been able to do it. I would have called for backup and I would have been holding my neck trying to make sure I stay alive. But, you know. Of all the Some things, people built for this probably shit. the thing that I ain't. <laughs> uh, was the most important maneuver uh, before he got here. The 22-year-old deputy was rushed to HCA Florida Lawnwood Hospital where Dr. Christopher Bennett performed an hours-long surgery using a vein in the deputy's leg to help repair the wound wow. in his neck. So he took a piece of that uh, and uh, used that as a patch and over -sewed the hole that was made from the <laughs> Investigators believe Jeez. Leia Day may have been under the influence. She oh, faced a judge Friday and is now facing attempted murder charges. Dr. Bennett says Deputy Colangelo is lucky, and had he been stabbed two to three inches lower, the outcome could have been much different. If, it, if the knife had a downward trajectory, very, very different story. He probably wouldn't have made it to the hospital. Deputy Colangelo was discharged from the hospital Friday morning. He's now resting and recovering at home. Sheldon, uh, little bootleg right, well, you have studio. That crazy bitch just went off and stabbed the police. I wonder for what, if it was a rollover accident, was he there to help you? Why did you stab the police? There's a lot of missing information here, y'all. I just, um, I'm shocked that, uh, you know, the police being stabbed in the neck for responding to an accident. Hmm. It's always some crazy shit in Florida. Shout out to my people in Florida. I got love for y'all, and I'm sure y'all are not the crazies that's out there. Y'all just happen to have the stigma of being the crazy state of the United States. So, you know, that's just a stereotype, man. We got plenty of love for y'all out there in Florida. You know what I'm saying? Y'all got plenty of love for me right back. Anyway, let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. I'm Sheldon Vibes. Until next time, I'm signing now. And if you ain't fucking with my nigga Sheldon, nigga, fuck you. Yeah. Oh, God.